And now, the six draggy draggeresses of All Stars Season 2 in their rendition of the Cell Cock Tango. X. Shot. Yes. Choices. X. Shot. Yes. Choices. X. Shot. Yes. Choices. He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. Choices. Choices. You know how people have these little habits that get you down? Like Morris. Morris? Who's Morris? Morris liked to chew. No, not chew. Pop. So I came home this one day and I'm really irritated and I'm looking for a little sympathy and there's good old Morris sitting, drinking a bunch of beers and chewing. No, not chewing, popping. So I said to him, I said, Morris, you pop one more time. And he did. So I took the shotgun off the wall and I fired two warning shots. Into his head. If you'd have been there, if you'd have heard it, I bet you you would have done the same. I met Ezekiel Young from Salt Lake City about two years ago. He told me he was single. We hit it off right away, so we started living together. He'd go to work, he'd come home, we'd hold hands. It was like heaven in two and a half rooms. And then I found out single, he told me. Single, my ass. Not only was he married, oh no, he had six wives. One of those Mormons, you know. So that night when he came home, I fixed him his drink as usual. You know, some men just can't hold their arsenic. Sorry about it. Now I'm sitting in my dressing room waiting for the show to start minding my own business. In storms my jealous mother in a crazy rage. You've been screwing the milkman, she says. She was crazy and she kept on screaming. You've been screwing the milkman. And then she ran into my shaw. She ran into my shaw ten times. What's a shaw? If you'd have been there. If you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. Could you hold my purse while I snatch the pearl? Legacy of my name. I'm doing your turn to get in the basket. Yeah, but did you do it? That's a stupid question. <laughs> My sister Veronica and I had this double act, and my husband Charlie traveled around with us. Now, for the last number in our act, we did these 20 acrobatic tricks in a row. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five split, split spread eagles, back foot, flip flops, flip one right after the other. Well, this one night, the three of us were sitting up in a hotel room, having a few laughs, and we ran out of ice. So I went out to get some. I come back, open the door. There's Veronica and Charlie doing number 17. The Spread Eagle! Well, I was in such a state of shock, I completely blacked out. I can't remember a thing. It wasn't until later when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. I didn't do it! And then they me, used but us! But if I'd done and it, they abused us! Could you tell me that I was wrong? I loved Alan Lipschitz more than I can possibly say. He was a real artistic guy. Sensitive. A videographer. But he was troubled. He was always trying to find himself. He'd go out every day looking for himself. And along the way, he found Ruth, Gladys, Rosemary, and Irving. I guess you could say we broke up because of artistic differences. He saw himself as alive, and I saw him as dead. The dirty bum, 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 the dirty bum, bum, bum. Shot. 
choices.